for the summer. Give it up for Amanda Marino. In case you wanted to know why I'm wearing the heels, <laughs> that's a real person's height. This is, this is it. I compromised. Again. Are you guys ready to like laugh? Because you're making me a little nervous. Can you guys gonna like laugh? Because like I have character voices and like I'm gonna yell. Like, are you guys on board for that now? A little bit? Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Because like the holiday season is coming up, right? We're getting closer and closer to like Thanksgiving but Christmas and all that other stuff. And I'm getting in the holiday spirit by, say it with me, getting a new antidepressant prescribed. That's what I did. It was great. It's called amitriptyline, which sounds a lot like the kind of name that someone I graduated from high school with would give to their daughter in the hometown I grew up in. Amy! Amy Triptyline Corona Jones! You get your ass down these stairs and meet your aunt Amy. No, no thank you. No, 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 no. But that's who she is, right? Amitriptyline. So I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, not happy. Like, who's been happy ever in this event? Can you remember it? It's a weird one, but it, it works, which is a cool side effect of antidepressants, which are usually more like a Russian roulette of how angry I'm gonna be when I answer my emails. Uh, but this one's pretty good. So I was taking amitriptyline the other night. This is not sponsored by amitriptyline, but it could be, but it's not, but I wish it was. Money would be great. So I'm taking it and I look at it, it's just this little round green pill. And that's when I realized, ladies, we have been asking the question all wrong. They made us a Viagra, but it's not to make our erections bigger. It's to increase our will to live. <laughs> Did you guys realize that? We've had it this whole time. It's right there. I don't know how I missed it personally, but uh, it's because women don't like sex, right? We, we don't, we don't. Uh, sex is icky for boys. You're not laughing because some of you still kind of think that. And it's okay. It's all right to be wrong. It's fine. But speaking of like crippling depression and all those other things, has anyone watched the news? Like don't, if you're not yet, don't start now. Like this is like season four, brought in a new team of writers, every idea sticks levels of shit. Like don't, don't start now. So I'm hoping you're not, but I do want to give you a small window into what the outside world looks like via an Atlanta Falcons game. That's right, they have those still. Which is weird to me, cause like I remember being a kid and you would have to clean up all the deadly virus in your room before you got to go play pro sports with your friends. Like, that was my understanding, but nope, apparently we can just uh, do both now. But I was looking and it's just this amazing shot of like this audience section of an Atlanta Falcons game, which would be empty in non-pandemic times. <laughs> okay, good, we don't like the Falcons. We can all agree on that. Everything else I've said is whatever, but we don't like the Atlanta Falcons. I'll take it, I, I will take it. But it's like this, it's like, it's like the Last Supper, if everybody in that painting was an idiot. I am so serious. Like you look at it and it's like, it gets worse the more you look at it and you just kind of peer into it and you see humanity staring back at you with its nose above its mask. It's not great. But there's one thing in the middle, it's like the centerpiece of this raging disaster. And it's a woman and she's an unassuming lady She's got her Falcon stuff on. She's got a mask on. We're loving it. We're loving it. And it takes your eyes a minute to adjust to see what's going on there. Or more specifically, what she's wearing. Or more specifically, who she's wearing. <laughs> this grown-ass lady wearing a mask at an Atlanta Falcons game in the middle of a pandemic has a baby strapped <laughs> to her chest. A baby! An unmasked, squishy, immuno Compromised human is just out. And I have to, I, I can't, and I've tried, mind you, spent hours on this, trying to figure out what her thought process was exactly. Cause she had to wake up and go, yeah, let's go cheer on the Falcons. And that was like the first bad choice she made, right? <laughs> up, eyes open, bad idea. And then she goes, she gets dressed, she puts on a mask and she's like, yeah, I'm socially conscious. Then she starts walking out the door, doing the thing, getting ready to go pulls it behind her and goes, ah, 
I almost forgot my immunocompromised tiny little vag discharge. I didn't bring it with me. And she straps a baby who is not old enough to wear shoes and still be okay in public to her chest without a mask. And like, if that doesn't feel crazy to you, you're wrong and that's okay. But all of that is to say, I don't know a lot of things, but I know that that poor little amitriptyline really needs a mask. Thank you guys so much. We tried. Keep it going for Amanda Marino! Woo!